hey guys in this video we will be learning about continuous frequency distribution of standard deviation so this is the question which we are provided with now the formula for continuous frequency distribution in standard deviation is root summation fx square divided by n minus x bar square looking at the formula we need to find out the so first we need to find out x so how we will get our x value is we need to add on this 2 value and divide it with 2 so we can get the midpoints so here we need to find our x so that is 0 plus 5 divided by 2 that is from here 0 plus 5 divided by 2 we get 2.5 so this is how you need to find out their mid values so here it is 7.5 12.5 17.5 22.5 and 27.5 so now we got our x value now what we have to do we need to find out the fx value so fx 4 into 2.5 that is 10 60 75 to 10 151.5 and then 55 so after finding out fx you need to find out fx square fx square so that is fx into x so now you have to take this value and multiply with this value so you get 25 now 60 into 7.5 is 450 75 into 12.5 9 37.5 So now we found out our fx square also. Now let's find out all the total values. So this if I add on I get. If I add this value I get. 0.5 and this x values are not required. And f value I get 39. So now what we have to do is we need to find out our n so n is nothing but summation f so that is already i found out so my n value is 39 now i need to find out the mean so the mean formula is summation fx divided by n so the value for summation fx is 567.5 divided by n n is nothing but 39 so if i multiply this I get 14.55 so now I need to square this so if I square this I get 211.7025 so I'll take all the values now we need to substitute in this formula so fx square the value over here 1014.375 divided by n n is nothing but 39 minus x bar value that is 211.7025 now root divide this you get 260.096 now minus with this value now after minusing this value i get 48.3935 so if i found find out the root for this i get 6.95 so now let's find out the coefficient of variation that is standard deviation divided by x bar into 100 standard deviation 6.95 x bar is nothing but 14.55 into 100 so after multiplying and dividing this i get 47.766 so this is how you find out for continuous frequency distribution for standard deviation. So guys thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe, like and share.